South Park, you dumb fuck. We're talking about cheerleaders. Children of the corn. corn. Welcome to Indiana, motherfuckers. Ow. Children of the corn. Actually, right. actually, it's not. Actually, it's Nebraska, but it looks like Indiana. Got Either way, true hillbilly fucking location. Bullshit. All right, what do we gotta say about Children of the Corn? 1983, four, four whatever bullshit. Four. Based on Stephen King's short story. And uh, this one starring Linda Hamilton before she was in the Terminator. Yeah, yeah, she's she actually, Pete, actually hotter here too. Yeah, actually looks better. Peter Horton before he was on Thirty Something, and fucking the badass Courtney Gaines as Malachi. Outlander. Outlander. If you don't recognize the name, he was a fucking long hair, fucking crazy red hair kid that was in all the eighties movies. Man, getting stoned and shit like that. Yeah, man. Now um, I never read the book because who bullies don't read shit much no. unless it's uh, fucking penthouse letters, sports section. But uh, be that as it may, this is a pretty fucking awesome movie. This is a pretty Scary good one. But fuck. I tell you, most Stephen King adaptations suck donkey balls, but this ain't one of them, goddammit, because this was a short story. They extended to a feature movie. And I would say three fourths of the movie is really good. They stick true to Great the story. Great premise, too, man. Yeah, but. Um, the premise is a little fucking town. Uh, religious bullshit, whatever. The kids, they realize, hey, we don't need our parents anymore. We'll kill them. So, like, on a kill Sunday. parents. Yeah, Sunday afternoon after church, they go into the diner. They kill everybody. Hey, everybody. They go into their homes. They slit their mom and dad's throat. And then they get this little cult bullshit going on, worshiping this thing called He Who Walks Behind the Rose. Yeah. And they all commit suicide on their 18th birthday Rose or some of bullshit. Corn. Rose, Rose of corn. corn. Yeah. Now, now, the, now, the really horrific thing to me was... These kids didn't have access to firearms. They're fucking taking sights, nah, it's all sickles, bullshit. all these fucking garden it's chores, bullshit. It's just the worst way to die, man. They're yeah, all I mean, they kill all the motherfuckers. Shit, man. They kill everything that moves. Three years later, some little kids, man, they want to get out of this shit. They're scared because they, you know. Yeah, not every kid wants to be part of this 18 year old. Yeah, but they, but, they, but they had to go alone because all their parents got murdered. So what the fuck you going to do? Yeah, man. On the honeymoon. Peter Hort and Linda Hamilton, they're just driving through this town trying to get to bumfuck wherever. A kid, a kid they think runs out, but it turns out he just got his throat slit. They run him over. They're like, we got to find out whose kid this is. They're driving around town. It's empty. There's corn stalks everywhere. They think they killed the kid is what he's trying yeah, to say. Yeah, but they, they did. They didn't. Malachi the kid was already him. dead and shit. So, so they're all worried about they killed the kid and they're you know, trying to find help and shit. Next thing is they're getting chased by motherfuckers with knives and yeah. all this bullshit. And I mean, that's pretty much the story. They end up in trying to fight some devil motherfucker in a cornfield, but I don't want to spoil it, whatever. Normally, I don't do this because it's like some lazy bullshit that other motherfuckers do on YouTube, but I want to read the back of this because this is motherfucking hilarious. Yep. Original Stephen King Black, Stephen King classic is back now with all three all new feature as 25 years after its original release. Remains one of the top shockers of the 80s and perhaps the most popular story, Stephen King story adaptation ever. I don't know about that bullshit right there. That's a, I mean, this movie's good, might be lying but, but this movie didn't make like $100 million. It just barely came out on theaters. Something is alive in the cornfields of desolate Gatlin, Nebraska, and the town's children will do anything to protect its horrific secret. But when a traveling couple, Peter Horton of 30-something, and by the way, he did this movie like 10 years before, before 30 something. <laughs> But, but on, the, show on the back of this case, man, good old Anchor Bay, they're trying to do whatever they can to fucking get you to watch this shit. And, and, and this is the best. And pre-Terminator Linda Hamilton. Okay. <laughs> They're even saying this before she got popular on, on Terminator and all that shit. But why would they say pre yeah, yeah, It yeah. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I mean, why do you qualify that bullshit? <laughs> anyway, they're taken prisoner by the killer kid cult. Their battle for survival will unleash the most unholy sacrifice of all. And that's actually not true. Because the sacrifice is going to go down whether they're there or not. Yeah, Their yeah, battle yeah. don't unleash bullshit. Alright, the day that Isaac, Malachi, he who walks behind the rose... And millions of COTC fans, meaning Children of the Corn fans, and millions of Children of the Corn fans have been waiting for us. Finally arrived. The original Children of the Corn is back now on Blu-ray. Millions of Children of the Corn fans. <laughs> Are there? I mean, <laughs> if there was, the shit would have fucking made some money. It did. No shit. <laughs> Mil <laughs> Motherfucker, go outside and find me the millions. 25th anniversary edition. Who, who was begging or screaming for this? You know? <laughs> Timo, <laughs> I'm like, you, 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 you wrote the back of this box, The Rock, and the millions! 
<laughs> so the first, like, I mean, it's so fictional. Maybe <laughs> Stephen King himself wrote it. You know what I'm saying? It's, oh, just, it's, just, it's just so wrong. I don't get it. <laughs> really, really. Millions of children. <laughs> the the millions. millions. You find me a million people that have children in a court fucking poster in the fucking house and shit. Yeah. Motherfucker, it ain't, it ain't Twilight. <laughs> I love how they abbreviate them. Like, it's a real review. Like, like, I got my knuckles right there. Children of the corn. CRTC right there. Yeah, I'm part of the club, motherfucker. Come on. Give me a break. Who's ever abbreviated that shit before? <laughs> you down with COTC? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Woo! Come on. Tell me what it's all about. <laughs> Killing my fucking adults and shit. <laughs> Raising like sons. That was. Come on. That was COTC. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Tell me what it's all about. <laughs> la, la, la. I mean, I mean, don't get us wrong. We fucking love the movie. The movie's awesome, awesome, but who wrote, who wrote the back of this shit was smoking PCP. <laughs> Let me tell you, the hype is just a little bit too blown out of proportion. I mean, I mean, I mean on. <laughs> settle down, you millions out there. Come on now, come on now. You come millions have been waiting. We got, we got a SWAT team with rubber bullets out there waiting to fucking quell your fucking uprising and shit, all right? <laughs> Listen, you millions, go swarm to love the theater. It's on Blu-ray. You don't have to do it. Amazon.com shut down for that because too many people are ordering it all at once. <laughs> now, it's a movie I like it a lot. The ending kind of shit the bed a little bit with some bad special effects, some corny growls, whatever. But it's still a scary movie. I, I, and you know what? Nostalgic bullshit, whatever. Paint me a nostalgic motherfucker. I give this an 8 out of 10. Yeah, dude, I was going to give it an 8 too, man. For real. It's good, man. It, I mean, the premise alone is fucking frightening. No one has ever done that. I think Stephen King is the man. There, there has been a lot of sequels, but they're not based on anything of Stephen King. They were just cheap shit yeah. that the Weinstein brothers pumped out when they were doing cheap you know shit. How, you know how awful that shit is. In between <laughs> Highlander sequels, the Weinstein brothers were doing children of the right, corn right. sequels. Yeah. And let's get down to this package right here. This shit is fucking good, man. This is, I'll tell you what, Blu-ray, I thought this cheap 1984 bullshit would look like a VHS tape. It doesn't. They did some kind of full restoration bullshit. Picture and sound, 5.1 surround sound, Dolby True HD bullshit. It, it's like you're watching the original film and yeah, with these high-tech theaters with yeah. the speakers and, and like the fucking sound and the lighting you, behind you, the screen. You I mean, won't believe that this bullshit is 25 years old. No, you won't fucking it, believe it's it. It's amazing, man. You know, some people don't it like is. the grainy shit. I fucking love it. Yeah, that. there's like little grain bullshit, but that's the original intent of the film that I shot like, it like, like you're Like, you're watching it as if you're the like fucking director and, watching and, it the daily. And talk shit. about the colors. The colors of the cornfields, the Green, like it's just it, it the texture of these little fuckers. Clothes. Yeah, you, yeah, it's just you can see that, man. It is awesome. This is what Blu-ray was made for, yeah. motherfuckers. Oh, and the sound too. The picture is out loud, clear, crisp. Because you know, back in the day, at the most, they had stereo. They remastered this bullshit they did. to be all five and one. I told a picture and sound. For an old movie, whatever, it ain't Avatar, whatever, but for an old movie, it's amazing. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, for reals, yeah. for reals. Nine out of ten, absolutely. Special, special features. Special features, motherfucker. Once again, they got all the special features right here. Audio commentary with director Fritz Kirsch, producer Terrence Kirby, actor John Frank, Courtney Gaines. Fucking, they even got Malachi on this bullshit. Yeah, I mean, that guy, what's he doing now? Like a janitor in a fucking he's at, house? No, or? he's actually a musician. But oh, cool. Go for it, man. Fast film facts. New Welcome to Gatlin, Sound Chill and Corn. Interview with production designer. New it was the 80s with Lynn Hamilton. They go, and, and, I mean, bless her soul. She was a hot woman in the 80s with poodle hair and shit. She was. But they show her next to her swimming pool, man, and fucking... You won't believe how old Linda Hamilton is. She is so wrinkled and old, goddamn. You don't want to see her in 2000, whatever the hell this was made. <laughs> Stephen, King on, Stephen King on a shoestring interview with producer Don Borchers. Harvesty Howard, director for his kids. But they, they, original, they, 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 uh, look, original storyboard art. The fucking you know, little pictures motherfuckers I, drew I mean, on the I set. Mean, I, mean, I mean, I like that, but like, they don't actually interview Stephen King. Why do they call it Stephen King? Well, Stephen history? King is just a rich motherfucker. He ain't going to be a participant, even though this movie has millions of fans. <laughs> He didn't object to it either, though. He probably so, didn't yeah. make much money, whatever. Story about our poster. L listen, man, I could read the back of this fucking thing all day long, guys. On and on and on. But it's, it'll keep you entertained. It's today. fucking awesome. Yeah. And you know what? You can pick up that Blu ray for like 10 bucks max. It's good. Special features, 10 out of 10, motherfucker. Dude, I gotta say, I agree with that. I didn't even get through them all. But that's the point of owning it. Takes nice days movie. to watch. Yeah. yeah, you don't wanna rent that shit from Redbox. You gotta own that shit because you can watch a little bit here, a little bit there. Hell yeah, 10 out of 10. Enjoy that movie, America, everyone else. Apparently, millions of other people are. So, Ooh. I got nerd. I like children of 
corn, a little piece of advice. If you find yourself in the fucking Bible Belt and you see cornfields, fucking hit the accelerator. The I don't out. care. I don't care if you run over the mayor of the town. Get the fuck out of Dodge, goddammit. True that, true that. Alright, who believe you?